Let's have a look how we can texture all the DAS assets that have overlapping UVs in Substance Painter. That's one of those things that sometimes you might run into more modern assets. They usually have proper UVs laid out, but some older assets, they have them all in the same zero to one space and they're all stacked on top of one another. And DAS Studio doesn't really care, but other modern applications like Substance Painter do. And if they don't have properly laid out UVs, then we have a problem. So in this case, this is a video for Alex, by the way. The way he had this question. Hello, Alex. I hope this is helpful. This is such a case. This is Das Horse 2, and it has overlapping UVs. A way around this would be to use Das Horse 3, which doesn't have overlapping UVs. In fact, it only has one UV island, and that's much easier to texture. But if you do want to do something with Horse 2 or Victoria 4 or those types of characters, then this video is for you. So first of all, did you know that DAS Studio actually has a UV viewer built in? Many people don't know that. If you go and select your asset and then in fact go over to the surface selection tool and then select a surface, like maybe the, the whole body here, then you can switch your perspective view over to the UV view. And then you'll see that the controls look a little bit different and then you can actually see this is one UV tile. But DAS Studio isn't capable of showing you which UDIM this is on. So if you go and select another tile here, maybe uh, the cornea, then you see that this is part of that. You can also select multiple, like everything that's supposed to be on tile two. This is this is all that tile. If you select everything, then you see the problem that Substance Painter has issues with. Everything would be stacked on top of one another. So that's just how Das Studio displays it. To change that back, you change this back to the perspective view over here. So let's go and save ourselves a copy out and then have a look in Blender to see the problem and also to make a correction there. So I'm going to go and export this as an obj uh, i put that into an empty folder on my desktop and i'll call this one horse with mats and this is something we need for substance painter later on anyway and i will go and use the blender scale so i'll show modo not blender of course <laughs> and then in here i'll switch right surfaces over from original to collect and that's just so that we get a copy of all the base mats out so that we can use them later hit accept and export that out. Oh, that's actually a small mistake that I've made. <laughs> I did not change this over to base resolution so that you should do that. Mesh resolution over here to base. And then we'll go and take all that out again. Horse with mats. Same settings, just gonna be a little bit smaller. There we go. And meanwhile, over in Blender, let's have a look at the problem. So file import wavefront obj. Uh, vertex groups we don't want to split this and the scale can be at one and here is horse now we don't we have the material zones and we'll take a look at them in a moment but we don't have the materials themselves and that's really not what it's about we'll head over to uv editing and then we're already in edit mode and you can see the mess that we're seeing here this is all stacked on top of one another and in a udem workflow you'd have some stuff on tile one and then the next one would be in this square and then the next one would be in the square after that and thankfully the horse is designed for that but not laid out like that so everything that has a number one in the front here we can go and select and we can see that that would add up to everything that needs to be on tile one uh, tile one can actually stay in place so let's actually not select everything that has a one on it because that can stay in place let me go and uh, go unselect everything and start with tile two so everything that has a two in it just select that and hit select on the bottom here there we go let me take my face away so click this then sit select Click that and then sit select. And then you will see that everything that's supposed to be on another tile will light up. And then we'll go and move that over. Just before I do that, let me go over into this little data tab here. And under the UV maps, I'm gonna go and click this little plus icon just so that I can show you that there is gonna be a second UV map that will be able to switch between. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. So this is gonna be UDIMS here. And the first one is just UV map. So you have to select it and then also click that little camera icon. So that means we've now actually switched over to that new UV set. So back in the materials tab where everything is now selected, uh, let me go and hover over this viewport here, click G, x and one and then return and what that did is the whole selection has now moved to this 
UV tile. And that's important. We're going to go and unselect everything and then do the same thing with everything that has a number three in it. So the ear, inner ear, head, and then further down, eye socket, nostril. And I think, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So all that's selected. Now we're going to go and do the same thing here. Hover over this G, X, and then press 2. And that means all of that's now going to be in the third UDIM tile. Don't forget to press Enter. And this is now a completely new UV layout that Substance Painter is going to be able to deal with. So just to show you the difference, once again, click that little flux capacitor icon, and then you can go and switch between these two UV sets. This is the original, and this is the one that we've made. So we've changed the UDIM texture space, but what we haven't changed, and we're going to do that in Substance Painter, is that a modern application now needs to know the data for this is no longer here. It is also here. And by default, Substance Painter doesn't know that. But that's totally fine. Let's go switch over to Layout and export our horse without materials out, but with the new UDIM tiles. So um, with this horse selected, head over to Export Wavefront OBJ. In my secret DAS horse folder, I'm going to call this one horse no mats because that is what we need for Substance Painter anyway. And we're going to not export the materials out here. Scale that can all stay the same and all of that should work. Export that. And now we'll head over to Substance Painter where we're going to go and import this little guy. So new and under file, I'm going to go and select that. So horse no mats, the thing that came from Blender open that up and document resolution doesn't matter in fact nothing really matters import baked maps that is where well, we're not going to use baked maps but we're going to use the maps that have been exported from das studio which is the body and the head and i suppose the eyes and the rest is here the eyelashes and with the transparency map we don't really need that so those are the three that are now going to have uh, UDIM tiles. Had we imported this directly from DAS Studio with or without mats, then we would have nothing to mask those material zones off because they're always stacked on top of one another and we don't want to do that. So in my layers tab, I'm going to go and get rid of the paint layer and I'll go and drag one of my assets from all libraries here, switch that to project and nothing's been found probably because we're not looking for the correct stuff there we go textures there it is so if i go and start with the head here i'll left click and drag that over to my guy select base color and it looks like it's got the wrong mode selected here it's got warp projections under properties here. Let's change that over to uv projection i don't really know why my substance painter does that and here we see the problem it's it's now got the face texture but it's put it on the body and left the head completely blank. So let's go and change that uh, once we've applied all the textures here. So under layers, I can now go and click this little square icon and make sure that the head texture is only going to appear on that particular UDIM tile. So click that little square. And then you can see if you hover over these, we've got one, two, three UDIM tiles. It's the third tile that's now lighting up in blue. I want that to be masked off. So Alt, select that. that deselects the other two and this is the only part on which my texture is going to show up and not on the body. The texture however isn't showing up there so the way to make that happen is to select your texture layer again here the material then change over from the 3D viewport to the 3D and the 2D combined because that's that's where we're going to be able to see what's going on and here's our UDIMS and here's our, here's our horse and you can see that for this material it is still looking at the 0 to 1 space and we really need to look at the 0 3 UDIM space because that's the head texture here so to tell Substance Painter that we can use the offset down here. This one I think is up and down. No, this one is actually left and right. This is the one we need. This one is the up and down. Perfect. So leave that one at zero. And this one, the front one, we're going to set that to two. And watch what happens to the face of my little guy as I type in number two. There we go. It's perfectly working. Great. Now he's got a face. Now we need to do the same thing to the body and the eyes. The body is already on the correct space, but the eyes probably need moving. So let's go and do the same thing again. Once again, I'm going to go over to my assets here and I'll drag over the body left click and drag that onto my little guy base color and once again warp projection I really don't know why it does that UV projection and that's already perfect but just to be on the safe side I'm going to go and mask that off as well 
And this is the first one, so Alt select that. I know it's terribly complicated, this program, isn't it? But hey, that's that's just how the cookie crumbles. And then the next one is the eyes. Left click and drag that onto here, base color and the eyes. That is actually quite exciting to put the eyes on his body. We don't want to do that. So wall projection, change that to UV projection. And once again, we have that masking problem under layers, select that, mask that off. This is now the second unit tile. So Alt select that to essentially unselect the top and the bottom. That's what that does in one smooth click. And to bring all the textures back on the whole horse, you just have to select any of these materials. So currently we're on the mask and we don't want to be there. We want to be on one of the materials and then boom, there it is. So that is how we set up our horse. And now we can start the texturing process. So in my case, maybe I'll just go and write something on the side. In fact, select all these control G to group those things together. We'll call that one horse skin and just make ourselves obviously do whatever you like with it. I'm just going to go and create a brand new paint layer just with color information. I'm going to go and write something like, you know, horse on his side, just so that we've seen we've made, uh, you know, a change. There we go. So if we wanted to take this out, of Substance Painter. We don't have to bake anything. We can just go and use the export textures menu. Maybe I want that to be in 4K. And then on the list of exports here, I want to open my output directory. That might be actually, this is from an earlier test. So I'm going to go and delete that so that we have a fresh folder here. And we don't really need to export all of these things. In my case, it's just the base material that I need to export that's under PBR metallic roughness. That's the one I'm using. And I really don't need any of these. You should also make a copy of that maybe before you make any amendments and list of exports hasn't updated because I have to go to settings and back to here and then it's updated. I really don't know why, but it's one of those things. Let's hit ex export and that exports all my base textures out. And even though we've changed the UDEM tiles in Blender, we don't need to tell Das Studio about it because it can handle the fact that there are overlapping UVs here. And let me just go and drag the, let me find the code. So basically everything that was on the first UDEM tile, I can go and select all of these things together and just drag my file into here. That's this one here. That's what I've written horse on. So left click and drag that onto the diffuse color. And that takes a second. And then we have the thing that I've written on the horse. And you know, that's, that's how we've solved that. So yeah, if you ever come across the fact that you see something rather weird in Substance Painter, this is a way around it. And uh, in Das Studio, you don't have to change it. Even though I'll tell you, you can, if you wanted to import this new UV set into Das Studio, it can support that. You can head over to edit. So that's with your object selected edit object surfaces and then you can load a UV set. So what we could do now, just before I do it, I'll show you where to look for that. So you select all the surface zones and then you search for UV and then you have the UV set. Currently we only have the default UVs, but if you wanted to add another one, like we've just done the one in Blender, you can head over to edit object, oops, edit object surfaces and then there's load UV set and that can take the exact same file that we've exported from Blender. So horse nomads, let's go and put that in here. And it says, uh, what would you like that to be called? And I'll call this one UDIMS and you can hit accept. And now the UV set, you have UDIMS, that's the one we've just loaded and default UV. So if I switch it over to UDIMS, then Das Studio doesn't actually see a difference because it handles it just fine. But if you did make a change that is uh, significant, like, you know, repacking the UVs or something like that, then this is a way to import the exact change you've made there back into Das Studio. There we go. That's it. I hope this was helpful. Have fun painting on your horses and all your other overlapping UV objects. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.